Okay, Glyn Juice here again with another Photoshop tutorial for you. And this time I want to show you a technique of how we can add in smoke or mist into our pictures. Now it's really, really simple to do. In fact, there's only four simple steps to it. So let's jump over to Photoshop and take you through those four steps. Okay, so here we are now in Photoshop and in front of us we have a composite image and that's, this is actually one that we'd worked on at my recent workshop where we photographed our model Steve in the studio and then over a few steps we've added in the background of the trees and this moonlight shining down on him. But to finish the image off what I want to do is just add in a bit of this smoke or mist into the lower part of the picture here. Now, like I said, there's four simple steps to this. And as is always the case in Photoshop, there are so many different ways that you can do certain things. But one way that I like to create smoke or mist is by using a picture of some clouds. Now, here's a picture of some clouds that I took when I was out and about. And one thing I'll always do when I'm either on a photo shoot or I just happen to have the camera with me, I'll take pictures of clouds or I'll take pictures of textures, walls and floors. And yeah, I do get the odd occasional odd look from people, but the reason I'm doing this is to collect a, a sort of folder of images that I can use in later compositing, as is the case here. So here we have our picture of our clouds. Now step one in this whole process is we need to remove the color out of this picture here. So I'm gonna to go to the image menu, choose adjustments, and then hue and saturation. And I'm just going to drag the saturation slider all the way to the left to remove the color. I want to make the cloud stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to add a bit of contrast to this now. So I'm going to again go back to the image menu, adjustments, and then I'll choose something like levels. And I'll just play around with the sliders just to increase the contrast. Whoop, there we go. Let's have a look. Bring that one there. Highlights can come in, and we'll bring that down to about there, like so. So before and after, yeah, that looks good to me. So our clouds now, I think, are ready to be used as smoke or mist. So step two in this process is we need to put this cloud picture on top of our picture that we're doing the compositing with, and that's our picture of Steve. So I'm going to drag it down now into this lower portion of the picture like so, just around sort of his hands about there will be fine. And I'm going to press Command or Control T just to sort of finish this off. I'll just stretch it out just a little bit like so, using these handles, there we go. Okay, so that's step two done. Now obviously at the moment we can see it doesn't look too realistic, it just looks like a solid layer has been plonked right on top of our picture of Steve, doesn't look like realistic smoke or mist. And we've also got this really obvious line running across the top here. So step three, really simple step here, and this makes use of the wonderful blend modes we have in Photoshop. I'm just going to change the blend mode of this clouds layer into screen. And when we can see, when we do that, in fact, I'll zoom in. We'll see the difference when we do that. At the moment, we've got a solid layer. If I change the blend mode of the clouds layer now to screen, straight away we can start to see some of the background coming into it. So we can now see his hands, bits of his trousers, and his hand on the other side, as you would do with normal smoke, because it's not just a solid thing. You can generally see through it. So just to go back, here we have the normal blend mode. Change it to screen adds a bit of realism into it as well. But one thing we do have is this obvious line running across the top still. So step four, the fourth and final step is just to remove that obvious line. And all we need to do for that is first of all add a layer mask to our clouds layer, like so. Press B on our keyboard to get a brush, and we need to paint in black. So make sure that your foreground color now this one here is set to black. And a really soft brush, so zero hardness on the brush. And using your left and right bracket keys, just alter the size of the brush like so. And all we're going to do is just paint across the top of that layer of the clouds there, just to remove that hard line like so. And you know, I might even just reduce the opacity of this brush down to around about 30% or so. And I might just add the odd dab in the middle as well, just to sort of reduce the intensity of those clouds a little bit more. Okay, so there we're not looking too bad at the moment. And the, the last part within this fourth step, if you like, is just to reduce the opacity or opacity of this clouds layer. And I'm gonna take this layer down to around about 50%, like so, something like that, 49 or 50%. So we can see then, if I go from 
100% opacity on that layer where we see the full effect. We can see it's, yeah, it's, it's effective, but it's maybe just a little bit too strong. But taking it down to 50%, a bit more realistic. And that's probably about the level that I would want to go to. Okay, the final thing we did with this pitch, I really then just had a little bit of color into it. And we ended up with this image here. Okay, so that's it. Told you it was quick. There's four simple steps to add in smoke or mist into your images. I'm Glyn Dewis, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.